So we are, we are going to learn how to create Microsoft Teams and channels in this video. So what is actually Microsoft Teams? Microsoft Teams is like a unified communication just like Skype for business. But with Microsoft Teams, you have more than Skype for business. You know, you can use it to chat, to do video conferencing. You can use it, um, you can also use it to store um, file storage. You can as well, as well use it to even share files with your colleagues. So with Microsoft Teams, you can co collaborate with your colleagues to actually um, aim towards a specific goal or if you have a project, you can as well use Microsoft Teams to work with that project and share files together. So let me just go straight to the point and show you how to create Teams and channel. So if your organization allows you to actually create Teams, because in my organization, we block the creation of Teams. So users who want to create Teams, we actually send an email to the help desk before they will be allowed, before the help desk will create the Teams for them. But if you're allowed to create Teams, to create a team, you have to go to Teams here. And here you have to join or create a team. So when I click join or create a team, you know, I have two options. One, to create a team and two, to join a team with a code. So I'm going to show you um, later how to generate this code, which you can use to join um, a team. So if someone, created, if someone has created a team and he wants you to automatically join that team, so they can send you a code which you can use to join the team. So let me just create a team and call it. Um, so by creating a team, you have two options. One, we can build a team from scratch, or two, we can create a team from an existing Office 365 groups or teams. So if you want to create a team from, a, of, a, from, from an existing Office 365 groups or teams, which means that, um, like that, that group is already in existence. So that group has been created in Office 365 or in, uh, from, uh, from Outlook. So if I click on create from an existing um, Office 365, so we have the option to, also, to create from teams, or from Office 365 group. So I can choose Office 365 group. Here you can see I have um, a group called Kelvin2, which of course is not any a member of Teams yet. So I can just use this, or I can go back and use Teams. Here I have um, uh, a team. This is just a uh, shared file, which of course, or shared, a shared group, which was also created. So I can use this to create the team. So let me just go back and create build a team from scratch. So by building a team from scratch, we have three options. One, it has it, it can be private, which means people will need a permission to join this team. So when I create a private team and someone wants to join this team, they will actually request the permission, and I will receive that request and I will allow them to join the team. Or I can send them a code, and uh, with that code, they can join a team without me actually receiving a request. So public team means that anyone in your organization can join the team. So which means there's someone will not join the team automatically, they will just click to join the team and automatically they will join the team. But the organization, the org wide, which organization wide team teams is when you when you create it, everyone in your company automatically join that teams. So, okay, let me create, uh, first of all, let me create a private team. I'm going to call this one, um, let me see, I'm going to call this one just help desk. And I click, uh, let me see, just call it help desk team. Let me just click create. So the team is being created. Yeah, the team has been created. So after creating the team, we have the, the opportunity to start um, um, adding um, someone to this team, or we can as well add um, a, a security group to this team or a mail enabled security group to this team. So right now, let me just skip this and leave it that way. So I'm going to add members to that team later. So let me create another one again, an organization wide team. Let me build from scratch and I say, organization wide team and I'm going to call this one so um, call it all members and here everyone will be joined to this team automatically so when I click create as you can see it doesn't even give me the option to um, add someone to the team because here everyone is going to join the team automatically so let me go back to the to the team I've just created, which is the helped 
desk. So if I click on the help desk, here you have the three dots. So with them, we have the option to actually manage this team we just created. So first of all, we have the option to actually hide this team so you can see the team has been hidden. So if I click here, we have the hidden teams. And when I click there, you can see the teams will also appear. Here I can just click on the three dots again and click show teams. So let me click on the three dots. And here we have the manage team. Here, and when you click manage team, we have the opportunity to actually manage the team and do some other cool things to it. Here you can see um, I, I created a team, so automatically I am the owner of the team. Here you can see that if we have any pending requests, because since this is a private team, so if anyone wants to join this team, automatically the person will, the, there will be a pending request here, so I will need to actually um, grant that request to the person. So let me just go here and add a member to this team. So I'm going to add someone to this team. So let's see, uh, let me just add Thomas Johnson to be a member of this team. Add, and add, add a, let me add another one again. Let me just add test one to this team. Click add, and both of them are members of the team. So we also have the option to also make like Thomas the owner of this team, which means Thomas will have the option, uh, the opportunity to actually manage this team and accept pending requests, create channels to this team. So click close, and here you can see Thomas and um, the member guest, which is test one, has been added to this team. And here you can see Thomas Johnson and Kelvin Johnson are both owners of the team. So let me just try to add, let me try, um, let someone try to add himself to this team and let's see how we're going to actually approve his request. So um, here the member, the test member has requested Nora to join this help desk um, teams. So if I go to pending request here, we can see that Nora has been actually added to this group by test one. So we, we have the option to actually accept um, Nora's request or deny deny it, which we, the, the request was actually requested by test one. So I'm just going to accept the request. And you can see the request, your, you, you have accepted the request. So right now, if I go to members, here we can see we have two members, which is test one and Nora Johnson. So to, to actually, I can decide to just make Nora also a owner of the teams or delete Nora from this group. So here we don't have any pending requests anymore. So if I go to channels, here we have channels. So if, for example, instead of you creating like 20 teams or 30 teams, just having a lot of teams, and you know that the teams should be linked to this, uh, you want to create more teams that should be linked to the main main teams. So what you just do, you create extra channels. So here we add, I can click add channel, and I just call this channel, let me just say uh, reset password and we can, we can decide to say standard accessible to everyone on the team or we can say um, it's going to be private only so i can just let me just leave this for um let me leave this to private only so only accessible to a specific group of people within the team so click next His name Oh, they are, they are, another channel already has its name. Okay, let me just use reset um, admin password. So we're going to say only accessible and click next. The channel has been created and we can just keep this for now. So not to make this video a very long one. So if I click here, as you can see we have a private um, channel which has, which has been added to this help desk. So let me try to go to manage team again. And just create a new um, channel and this one I'm just going to call it um, administrator straighters and here I can say standard accessible to everyone on the team and click add so the channel is being added and here we have the administrator uh, administrators and here we have the reset admin password so if I go to under my manage teams again and here we have uh, we can on a, you can see on our channels we have like two um 
uh, extra teams, uh, which actually is actually teams, but it's just an extra channel which is linked to this main help desk team. So right now I can decide to go to settings here and see we have some other settings configuration we can do on our settings. So how the team picture I can decide to just change the picture of the team and here I click upload picture and if I go to my pictures and I can just decide to actually include my picture on there and click save and the picture is being saved so you can see now we now have the team now has a picture. So we can say, okay, we have the members permission. We can as well as well change what members of this team can do. So we have the guest permission. We can as well say, okay, what can the guests do? Allow guests to create and update channels. We can decide to just check that or we just leave it the way it was. So for the team code, here we have a team code. So for the team code, uh, we can generate it. Let me just generate a team code. As you see, we have the uh, we have generated a team code, so we can send this team code to someone, and that person will automatically join the team without us receiving any request. So because the person has this code, so we will not receive any pending request for this person to join this team. Automatically, the person is going to join the team. So we have the option to actually reset the code. You know, we can decide to reset it. For example, we think uh, people are just trying to request because someone gave this code to them. So we can actually decide to reset the code, um, the code or we can remove the code. So we also have some other options here like phone stuff and tags. So if I go to analyt um, an analytics, we can see the information about this help desk we've just created. Here we can see we have four owners plus members. We have at this moment, we don't have any guests. We have four users, we have six apps, which are automatically linked to these um, teams. So if I go to apps here, you can see we have the standard apps, which are always created when you create a teams. So we can also as well go to more apps and include more apps to these teams. So this is actually how you create the teams and how you go about creating like independent request channels, creating extra channels to it on our settings, how you can modify the settings, add your, your profile picture to it. So um, it's actually very simple and easy. I think when you are when you use team um, every day, you actually get used to how it works. So thank you very much for watching my video and I, I and I, I, I think if this video has been of any help to you, please don't forget to give me a thumb up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more IT related video. Thank you very much. My name is Kelvin Johnson. I appreciate you watching my video. Goodbye.